In this video, I'd like to just do a brief overview of the Williamson Ether Synthesis and just talk about the product prediction and what some of the pieces do. So if we take a look at that, what we're going to do is we're going to start with an alcohol and we're going to react it with these two steps in order to make our final product here, which is an ether, which is why it's Williamson Ether Synthesis, because we're going to be synthesizing an ether. Okay, so over here what we have is our alcohol group, and the very first step is going to be reacting with sodium hydride. So the important component here is that hydride. So that's going to be used in order to pull this hydrogen off of that oxygen. The reason that's important is that's going to be creating our nucleophile, which will then come and attack the second group here, which is our alkyl halide. And so in this reaction, we're going to be running an SN2 mechanism, so we do want to use a good nucleophile. And this is going to come attack that R group, and it's going to kick off that iodide, because an iodide would be more stable with a negative charge than an oxygen would. And so when these two things happen, you ultimately wind up with this product here. And that's pretty much what's happening in the Williamson ether synthesis.